our long national nightmare is over. After doing videos on several 88 note pianos, you know if you've been watching this channel at all, I have been looking for an 88 note controller that is going to please me. We've done reviews of the Yamaha P125. I've done a review of my beloved P515 and that action that I really loved. We've had the M Audio Hammer 88 Pro in here and that was my keyboard for quite a while. And I've done a review on that. And of course we have the ill-fated unboxing of the Native Instruments S88 Complete Control Mark III which was a Mark Zero because eventually the power just did not work. I got, I guess, kind of a lemon, but I, I had it long enough to find out that I didn't kind of like the, I don't know, I, I guess you would call it, the S88 Mark III had a keyboard that was made by Fatar, which makes this, this key bed, but it's a step down, it's not wooden, and it's not quite as heavy, yet this seems lighter and less spongy. Uh, certainly, than the S88 Mark III. And I know this is not the only unboxing that's ever happened for this keyboard. This is certainly kind of a turning point, I think, for this whole channel uh, to get away from just, uh, when I first made this channel, I was just doing videos of some keyboards because I was selling them, but I ain't selling this. And so let's unbox it and let you see what it looks like and my first reactions, as far as you can tell. My last unboxing was pretty sad Hopefully, this will be a much happier video. So let's unbox the SL88 Grand by Studio Logic. Again, we'll keep all the boxes. Let's just hope that we don't have to run into the same problems as last time. Great pedal. That's it. Oh boy. <clears throat> Maybe it's a good sign. Same kind of interlocking rings. Which I think are cool. And it's in a bag again. Like a reusable bag. <clears throat> pedal, a really nice pedal. This is the VFP1 pedal, and um, I've had this kind of pedal before. I've also had the M Audio pedal. This is the kind of pedal you want. The kind of what you don't want is a pedal like this. This is no pedal for a piano player. But this, this is a, is a pedal for the piano player. All right, so let's put that in. Studio Logic, um, user manual, and all you can find to get going. And, yay, more stickers. I always like stickers. And then here, a power supply. What a unique concept, a power supply. And I'm going to go with this one. Because it fits onto it. Because it has all kinds of different power supplies. No matter where you live in the world, you have a power supply for you. Just a bit of a user's guide in here. Okay. It goes back in case I ever move to Europe. And what a joy. It's on before I even sit down. 
That's nice. I'm not feeling that great today, so I'm gonna be wearing a mask, but I wanted you to have my reaction. At least maybe you'll see my eyes. And I will talk more about my reaction. So I haven't really done anything with the settings here at all. All I've done is hook it up as a MIDI controller and saying, you're a MIDI controller, work. Which would have been nice with the S88 by Native Instruments, but it didn't happen. So let's try it here. Let me record. There we go. Okay, so first off, let me just say that the keys are very nice. Uh, not like really plasticky feeling. They are kind of, there is a bit of, in the white keys, there is a bit of grain, although you really can't feel it. Black keys are smoother, and um, the frame is just excellent. It's this thing is a tank. This thing will survive <laughs> survive a bomb, I think. This thing is solid, and it's heavy solid. But that might be good for the action and for the hammer action that I'm going for. All right. So without further ado, let's play this mother. something a little bit more athletic. Okay, well. Is that the keyboard? Okay, this is pretty awesome. I, I think this is probably going to come as close as any keyboard I could find for what I want. You probably can't see under my mask and <laughs> under my glasses how excited I am, but uh, I can't really take it off right now. But yes, we have reached it. I think we have found the keyboard that is gonna work for me. Thank God, and I know all of you are probably going, thank the good Lord that Eric has finally found an 88 note controller. He likes. 
Let me just tell you some things about it. It's so solid. This is as close as I've ever felt, even including the Yamaha P515, to a keyboard feeling like my piano out there, a grand piano. It's got, you can hear the hammers. But there's a big distinction here. This might be loud, and this it might be loud, but it's real. It feels realistic. And whereas the M Audio Hammer 88 Pro was really thunky in kind of a plasticky way. This is thunky, but in a wood way. love those notes at the top. I feel like I'm on a piano. I'll tell you, the black keys are a little thin. Like maybe a little um, smaller than I'm used to in other keyboards, but But they work. Um, I don't know how to explain it, but I, I would imagine if I measured these exact keys to my piano in there, it's going to probably measure up. And I will do some, since this is really just for piano, then I likely will not worry about that too much. Let's try it with electric piano. So you could see when I was unpacking this thing, I was a little out of it with COVID and I had just had some surgery. So it has been a time, but I have to say that I am really, really happy 
with the SL88, and I want to tell you why. Again, I know this isn't a keyboard that has not been reviewed before, but um, I, I have been on such a search for the right keyboard for me and for my uses here in the studio to get that 88 note feel. I am just so happy that I have found something that works and it definitely works. And so I just wanna show you a little bit of, uh, of, of some of my thoughts about it. I'm not going to talk about the knobs here. Uh, I'm, I'm not really crazy about them, but I don't think I'll be using them almost at all. Although I did find myself using them to dial in a piano sound so I guess it could be a use for a modulation one, but I don't use pitch bend when I'm playing piano or electric piano almost ever. So uh, the screen is fine. It is small, but it's not something I'm going to be using. It's, it's, there's no really control I'm going to be doing with it. This is basically, this could be gone. There could be no screen here and no knobs here, and it would still serve my purposes just fine. So let's now listen to a little bit. I just want to talk a little bit about playing it and what it feels like. Um, there's such a strong hammer action on this that it just feels right. So when I play... Especially up in the top register. Those hammers. So it, it, there's, the hammers just, they, they, they feel so good under my fingers. They feel like I am playing a piano and uh, whether I'm playing fast or slow. And I will tell you, it already has inspired me to write a song. I wrote a song for my wife um, in the midst of COVID. Uh, I just was playing around with this thing, and I decided to play uh, Native Instruments Noir, N-O-I-R-E, if you've never heard of it. It's one of the things that comes with complete control. I had never really liked Noir in playing uh, with my other controllers with it. But with this, whatever I was playing inspired me to write a whole song just by playing it. So I have to give this a big thumbs up. I was I was hoping and thinking that the SL88 would likely be the keyboard that, that did it for me as far as worked as my 88 note controller. But you never know when you are trying to order from these Sweetwater places because you can't feel it before you get it, you can't try it. So, as you know, this has been a lot of trial and error, but I am there, ladies and gentlemen, that uh, we have made, we have, we have touched down. The eagle has landed, and uh, I am so very happy. I've got another video that I'm shooting today, right after this, that I'm going to put on my composer's channel about different piano samples and different piano sounds and how they work with the SL88 Grand and feel. Um, I'm having to kind of relearn everything all over again. And so that means make sure I understand how Keyscape works with it, how all of the pianos, but I'll tell you something. I'll just get, tell you right now, you can take a Logic piano sound. The Bosendorfer Logic stock sound sounds great playing it with this. And so I think that's one of the things that I really am excited about, that even not great pianos sound pretty good or at least feel pretty good. It's like noir always felt very felty to me. You know, I know there's a pure setting and a felt setting. It always felt very felt, uh, very soft, and I couldn't dig into it. But whatever has happened with this keyboard and using whatever, I think I use the emotional patch on noir, 
and it just was it made me very emotional so yeah that is my thoughts and review of the sl88 grand and my unboxing and uh pardon the mask at first but uh, i wish the mask hadn't been on so you could see my face at the very beginning because it was there was a smile going on underneath there all right well that's it for me thanks so much for watching this i'll continue to uh i might have another review there's not much to review with this once you know you like the the feel i will tell you that this thing is heavy and hefty and solid as a rock it is a tank and I love that in an 88 note controller. I'm not after something I can just half under my arm and run around with. That is probably something like the, probably the Arturia 88 note key lab essentials. If you're looking for something cheap and light, that is probably going to be, I mean, it's semi-weighted, so it's not the same, but, um, you know, that might be something you're, you're after uh, if you're looking for something that you can take around and you can play all sorts of things, not just piano on. But I had very specific needs for this, and it is fulfilling them. So thumbs up from me on the SL88 Grand. Very happy with it. And remember, I have a video what I'll put right up here about the different pianos that I am playing on here. You can go to my Composer channel. You need to be subscribed there, too. Go to Hello Composers. Go to Make Music Income. Subscribe everywhere, my friends. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you next time.